Hey everybody, it's me, Lady Ada. I'm at the Ada Fruit Factory here in Manhattan, and I'm here to talk to you about another new design I just finished, the Pro Trinket. Pro Trinket is the update to Trinket. It's got everything you love plus Arduino squished into one delicious package. You may already be familiar with the Adafruit Trinket. It's a board we designed about a year ago. It's meant to be a small, easy to use, and low cost microcontroller board for your small projects. But some people want to build something a little more complicated. So now we have Pro Trinket. Pro Trinket has four times as many pins, and four times as much flash, so you can build much more complicated and elegant projects. This is the classic Trinket. It's based on the ATtiny85 AVR microcontroller. This microcontroller has five I.O. pins, 8K of flash, and a half a K of RAM. In comparison, this is the Pro Trinket, which we based off of the Atmega 328 processor. This processor has 32K of flash, and 2K of RAM, and 18 I.O. pins. So it's about four times as much everything. It's got a lot of horsepower. If the processor on the Pro Trinket sounds familiar, that's because it's the same one used in the Arduino Uno, the Atmega 328. This means that the entire ecosystem of Arduino-compatible sketches and libraries work seamlessly on the Pro Trinket. Design your prototype on the classic Arduino Uno. Once you've finished your project, you can load the same code into your Pro Trinket. That way you can miniaturize your project. Pro Trinket comes in two flavors. We've got the classic 5 volt 16 megahertz version. This one is most like an Arduino Uno. And we've also got, for power users, the 3 volt 12 megahertz version. This one is good for people who need 3 volt logic or runs on battery and don't mind that it's a little bit slower. Solder header to the bottom of your Pro Trinket to make it breadboard friendly. This way you can prototype projects like this GPS plus OLED display. There's two ways to upload code to your Pro Trinket. The first is using the onboard micro USB jack. This allows you to upload code through the Arduino IDE, but since there's no USB serial chip on board, it doesn't provide you with a debug console. The second method is to use an FTDI cable. You can use any FTDI cable or FTDI friend. This allows you to not only upload code through the cable, but since there's a USB to serial converter chip inside the cable, it also gives you a debug console. Each Pro Trinket is designed, engineered, manufactured, and shipped out of the Adafruit factory here in downtown Manhattan. Do you have a project that could use an Adafruit Pro Trinket? I'm pretty sure you do. If so, pick one up today at the Adafruit web shop.